In this video, I will be showing you how easy it is to set up a camera switcher in your FPV aircraft. I will also show you how to wire an extra wingtip mounted camera to provide it with power from an external source so you don't have to worry about the internal battery dying in flight. And finally, I will show you how to rig everything together so that you can have multiple cameras and multiple live views on your favorite FPV platform. First of all, let's take a look at a very simple basic FPV setup, which you may have in your aircraft already. To keep things simple, I am going to use a single 12 volt 3 cell LiPo battery for the entire airborne video system. Incidentally, this is the exact 1300 milliamp hour battery that I actually use in my Skywalker to power most of my electronics. I use a separate 5000 milliamp hour motor battery to actually power my motor. So this single battery will power our radio control receiver, a 12 volt flight camera, and a 400 milliwatt video transmitter. Using a 3 cell 12 volt battery is perfect because two of our components operate at 12 volts and we can use a small universal battery eliminator circuit or UBEC to step that 12 volts down to 5 volts to power our receiver. Now I am using a 12 channel Dragon Link receiver for this demo. To me it's worth its weight in gold for long distance FPV flying, but to add a camera switcher you can use just about any receiver you like, such as this cheap orange one here. So let's turn the switch on here and power everything up. Most of you will understand this very basic FPV setup. We have a 12 volt battery and 12 volts powering both our flight camera and our video transmitter, while the UBEC steps the 12 volts down to 5 volts to power our Dragon Link receiver. Now normally of course you would have servos plugged into all these channels, but right now all we have is power coming in. Now this is a video wire which normally would run from our live camera straight to the video transmitter to send a live video feed down to our ground station where we can watch the view from the air. I don't have any autopilot equipment or on-screen display installed here, but normally an OSD would be plugged in right here at this point, and the OSD would take the raw video image from the camera and overlay telemetry information before sending the composite image down to the ground station. Okay, now we're going to take this basic setup and we're going to add two more cameras to be mounted on our wing, and we're going to also add a camera switcher so we can switch to the live view of either of these three cameras during flight. Now watch how easy this is. The heart of the system is this three-way remote camera switcher. It simply plugs into your receiver and it will allow you to hook up anywhere from one to three cameras and will allow you to switch between them easily from the ground with an extra channel on your radio. First, plug the camera switcher into an open channel on your receiver. I will use channel 7 on my Dragon Link receiver which corresponds to this rotating dial on my Futaba radio. I would rather use a three-way switch, but I don't have one, so I use this dial instead. Now to calibrate the camera switcher, simply move the control from one extreme to the other a few times back and forth. This lets the camera switcher calibrate the two endpoints. Now I'm going to simply break the video wire right here in the middle, which causes us to lose video signal, of course. Now we're going to plug the camera end into the number one port on the switch. And then we're going to plug the video transmitter end of the wire into the last port on the switch. Now the positive, negative, and signal connections are clearly labeled here, but we won't be switching either the positive or negative terminals. There's no need for that. We just simply want to switch video signals. And just like magic, we have our video signal back. Now this particular switch has been designed to eliminate interference. This switcher is rock solid and you won't experience any interference with it. Okay, now let's add some more cameras. We're going to add my trusty old 808 number 16 camera and also my brand new Mobius camera. The 808 camera I am going to be installing on my outer wingtip to look back at the plane in flight. And the Mobius I'm going to hang pointing straight down for the bomb drop view. Now both of these cameras have an internal battery, so I don't technically have to power them with an external source. However, this 808 in particular is notorious for having an extremely short battery life. I'd be lucky to get a 13 minute video out of it on a full charge. Another thing is, I already have so many batteries to charge up before heading out to the field, and it is simply a pain to have to remember to charge these little cameras up each time. It is so much easier to simply power them both from the electronics battery which is already on board my plane. Now both these cameras will run off of 5 or 6 volts, so the first thing to do is tap into some power here at my 5 volt UBEC. 
I already have the wires soldered in for this demo. Now black is going to be ground and red is 5 volts positive for both of these wires. Now what I did is to take a long servo wire which you can buy on eBay. I picked 10 of these up for less than 5 bucks. The red and black powers the camera with 5 volts and the white wire is the signal wire coming back out from the camera. I have simply separated the white wires from each servo lead for clarity here. Now one thing I also do is I usually make my own adapter cords. I don't like chopping up the stock cords that come with the cameras for several reasons. So these here are the ones I made up for both the Mobius and the 808. Now make sure you have set both cameras for live video output using the included software. And now we just plug both cameras into the 5 volts for my UBEC and the Mobius powers up right away and we can simply hit the record button to begin recording. The 808 camera has power, as indicated by this green LED, but I need to hold the on-off button down for it to actually power up. Then after a few seconds, I just press the record button, and now we have both wing cameras up and running. Both are recording video in HD, and both are also transmitting video signal out along these separate white signal wires. Now I'm going to plug the Mobius signal wire into port number 2 on the camera switch, and I'll plug the 808 signal wire into port number three on the switch. Now, in order to switch to either of my three cameras, I just use the dial on my radio like this. The far left position is camera number one, which is my primary flight camera. When I rotate the dial into the center portion of the control, it switches to camera number two, which is my Mobius camera, which I will normally have pointed straight down. If I rotate the dial even further to the right, the camera switch now pipes out the video signal from my 808 camera, which will normally be mounted on my outer wing. And that's it. It's that simple.